Adventures. Welcome back to another Mad 19 Ultimate Team video. We just had a huge pack opening where we probably made over a million coins. Probably around 1.1 million. This week's uh, Team of the Week bundles I think were well worth it. Uh, this week's Master is T.Y. Hilton. We did complete him. We did pull Robert Woods in a pack. So it helped us to complete him. Here's the team, guys. We are going to run this T.Y. Hilton, see how it looks. We have pretty pretty good team as you guys can see it's a 93 overall our corners are pretty set we got good old chris harris jr Dion sanders uh there is slay we got beasts of the players guys we got a 97 overall lawrence taylor but again guys this is going to be a ty hilton gameplay let me let you guys take a look at his uh stats it's kind of surprising he didn't go up at all i mean he would go up if i powered him up fully but yeah that was too expensive to do that anyways he's got 93 speed 97 catch, 93 catch in traffic, and 98 short route running. He, he looks like a beast. He's just short. Um, couldn't put Sprinter Kim on him because you can only do that if you power them up fully. So, you know, that's all right. We'll take him as it is right there, and we'll run a gameplay with him, see how he does. Let you guys see. And then, uh, after this gameplay, it's just going to be a season mode. Probably going to sell him. Because uh, I'm going to keep Tyreek Hill. I'm pretty sure Tyreek Hill is getting uh, either a Blitz promo card or a uh, Christmas card. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here on the live stream, uh, we hope you guys enjoy. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you guys want to see more videos like this, hit that like button. Again, this is a T.Y. Hilton video. We are going to go ahead and test him out. We did complete his set. We did pull Robert Woods in a pack, which made this set easier to complete. Brandon As you can see, our opponent Jones has Jarrell Casey, Ricky Bloom, Jerry Rice. Jones he has a beast of a team, so this is going to be an interesting game. Well. There's our top three. They tend to be battles. But again, we are going to be uh, no testing out T.Y. Uh, Hilton. I don't know why I keep thinking Tyreek Hill. He's probably going to get a card in the Blitz promo or Christmas promo. Well deserved. He's a beast, and he's been playing like a beast lately. Now the big leg of Matt Prater ready to get this one started. And here we go. We're underway in Madden Ultimate Team. This will be taken in at the one. I don't know why I got Cohen back there. I got to change that. Oops. Oh, that. Okay, I guess we'll put T.Y. Hilton back there. Beautiful spin! Holy cow! You guys see that? Ricky Williams has got to be the one of the hardest players to tackle in this game. But again, mine's a 95 Ricky Williams. I have like spin specialists on him. I got his spin up to 94, his break tackle up to 95, his speed up to 94. Virtually probably the best player in the game. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. 
A good run on first down, followed up by a not so good Remember, guys, our opponent down. has a beast of a team. I would say out of the like 260 opponents we play, he's probably up there in the top 10, with the top 10 team. So he has a good team. As we go ahead and we get the first down. This Ricky Williams is a beast of a card, guys. I mean, hands down the best running back, I think, in the game. Although I haven't tried uh, sweetness yet. Beautiful pass. This guy loves blitzing. I'll give you guys that. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy Again. Some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Guys, we only gained three yards. Not bad, better than losing. Three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Was that an expression three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. Now they'll run it on the toss. And able to get this one all the way up to about the 46-yard line. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets them into a third and one situation. As you guys see, we are driving the ball. Doing a pretty good job at it, too. As we get another first down. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. He needed a yard, that's what he got, and it's going to earn him a new set of downs. So far, T.Y. Hilton's only gotten two yards. They're rushing yards, but so far that's the only thing he's done in the game. Mahomes now on first down. Throw right side going to be complete to Moss. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. A gain of six there on first. Look, we came into this with focus. That's what I call a drive, ladies and gentlemen, here in the live stream. We started this drive off at the 10 yard line voluntarily. We're about midfield, and we've already used up one whole quarter. It really is, especially when you consider that every defense he faced was prepared for. Beautiful. This Ricky Williams is a beast, guys. It's a nine yard gain and it keeps the drive moving. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They got a nice little drive. This is what I call a drive systematically taking apart your opponent. I've ran it, I've thrown it, I've run about four formations, about ten different plays. It's actually not where I wanted to go. Jones, the linebacker, and his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. So after the INT, here's Wentz. As it almost gets picked off right back as our opponent lobs it up in the air. Very close to getting picked off. 
Would have been a great play if he'd been able to hold that one in. Wentz will try again on second down. Wow, he keeps going to the same guy. Both times, I almost freaking picked it off. A good pick up there, 22. So the defense blitzed. A nice job picking that up. Completing I don't know about you guys, but it almost seems like that's the exact same play. Two plays in a row. They saw the blitz, made the appropriate calls, got the line engaged because now they know there's going to be extra guys coming at the quarterback, so they got their assignments. Definitely the same formation. 100% same formation. What is this? Fifth play in a row? On second down, here's Wentz. Keeps himself up right. But in the end, the pressure. That's why you don't play the same play in a row, guys. Use this as a learning tool, guys. Do not run the same freaking formation nonstop. You literally hand your opponent your playbook. Why would you want to do that? Boom. Ladies and gentlemen, I got it right back because our opponent passes to triple coverage. Why? Because he runs the exact same formation over and over and over. Literally, he ran that same mesh at post like four times in that freaking drive. Ladies and gentlemen, use this as a learning tool. Do not do that. Do not do what our opponent did. Mix up your plays. You don't want to hand your opponent, like literally what he did to me, you don't want to hand your opponent your playbook. That'd be a huge mistake. We gave our opponent a gift, and he gives it right back. We would just half back wham this, and I say kill the clock. That's probably the smartest thing to do, right, guys? Now the home's throwing on second down. That is throw is That was almost an excellent pass. His intended target, and it's third down. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well too. On third and long, it's Mahomes. And almost picked off. I guess the good news for them now. Since we know what our down. opponent does, we're gonna go ahead and punt this. Well, another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's gotta start taking care of the ball way better than what we're saying. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. This is taken around the 12. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. And now Chicago, Let's see if our opponent runs the exact same play over and over again. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? Or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the Almost picked off road. again, guys. You're going to take care of it. But you have to be careful. I don't know what kind of out play that was, but I am playing the outs. Don't want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. And once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and ten. Back to the air on second down. Wins the catch made by the Andre Hopkins. So he got free of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. This guy loves running the exact same play, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you get turnovers. I proved that last drive. Situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged the as he goes ahead and drops the ball. Let's see if he punts it like he should. Because if he does it. Up a nice this is a defensive play. battle. He's playing good defense. If he does it and then goes for it and doesn't get it, he gives us the first score free. So on fourth down, here's Chris Jones to punt it away. Just in case he's faking, I think we're gonna 
And he's not faking. It was a good punt, but it went out of bounds. There was nothing I could do with that. So out now comes the offense back on. So field. now I've and virtually got to take the rest of this half. Side. Two drives, two punts. So if I don't score and have to punt, I have to make sure there's no time left. I'll just basically kill the clock. Make sure there's enough time for me to score, and that's it. Within that unit of 11, sometimes one guy can make a big time play and break through the barrier. To throw, it's Mahomes. It's Williams on the catch. Oh, he never got knocked down. Or he never uh, got tackled. He went down on his own freaking by himself. They go play action here on first down. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Jarrell Casey. He's the one that got to him. He takes him down for a loss of nine. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. They go play fake. Mahomes. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Khalil Mack in there to drop him, and sacks on first and second downs are going to lead to a third and long. Mahomes going to throw. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. Here's Sam Cook now, standing about a yard deep in his own end zone. So if he doesn't run this back, he virtually has one play. This game's basically going to go to the first person to make a mistake, ladies and gentlemen. That means the first person to not punt when they should. And he's still running the exact same play. It's so weird. Intercepted. I, I mean, I put double coverage on him. He couldn't see that. So, with that interception, having two, I would say the first half belongs to me. So, plenty of action on the field, but no action right now on the scoreboard, at least as of yet. Nothing, nothing is our score. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman. Let's see if he runs this out. Not too sure if that's a good move. Is it? No, it's not. He actually lost yards running that out. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. Now, Let's see if he keeps running the exact same play. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. <laughs> see what happens. They start the second half here with Williams. Now he'll be dropped at the 30. And a shifty move got him a couple extra on the play. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second. First person to get a turnover probably loses this game. Again, it's Williams. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. Let's as it looks like he's running the exact the same play. running play now. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the past, but in this game. How about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. On third down. As we go ahead and hold them now, let's see if he does the smart thing, which is punt, which it looks like he's not doing. And our opponent makes the first mistake, ladies and gentlemen. Remember I told you the first person to make a mistake in this game is probably going to be the person that doesn't punt. He should have punted. And as our opponent pauses the game, it's 0-0, zero, zero, ladies and gentlemen. 0-0. Zero to zero. Okay, he's not going to quit, but he basically handed us points. I told you guys, the first person to make a mistake is probably the first person to choose not to punt. He was playing pretty smart the whole game until that point. And you better believe we're going to take our field goal. And on the ground they go with the running back. And only able to muster. 
foster a couple down to about the 27. Well, he's looking for some running room. And so let's go ahead and eat up some of this clock. He was lucky to get a couple yards out of it. Because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. Remember, guys, we've been playing solid defense. He's been playing solid defense. Problem is, he made the first mistake. On second down, Williams trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. Officially, no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. Mahomes now to throw. Oh, he ran backwards when I spun, but it's all right. We'll take the field goal. That was an easy first down, by the way, guys. And there's our field goal as we almost got caught in the, uh, I like to say, the uh, field goal block glitch. I don't know what our opponent did right there, but lucky for us. Some good news, partner. We he didn't block it. Have a scoreless tie as we finally get our first points of the contest. So our opponent made the first mistake in this game. He should have known. We've both been playing solid defense. Even he's been playing solid defense. First person to make a mistake, which to me was the first person to not put when they should, was more likely going to be the loser. And he did exactly what I said. Neither of us should do. Exactly what I said neither of us should do, he actually did, which is weird. Because, you know, I know he can hear me. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach. So as of now, I our opponent has thrown two interceptions, one turn into points. Or, yeah, I would say the game's with us so far. I don't think we'll give up more than three, and that's exactly what happened. And again, our opponent has a top ten team that we've ever played against. Because I know I've got a defense that hold up their end. Wins to throw on second down. On the crossing round, complete. It's Hill. And he's brought down after a very nice gain. A nice gain of 21 yards. Brandon, so many times we see the and he's going back to his old old uh, place. He had time in the pocket and waited for him to clear going across. The throw that side completion to Rice. And he'll get it down here to the 43. He loves running that little mesh play. First. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot. You often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Now, Wentz again. Dancing to his left. Wentz can pull it down when he needs to, and the 6'5 quarterback picks up the first down. That's something we have not seen him do to this point, and that's take the ball, tuck it, and run. Exactly right. His first carry of the game. I guess he picked a good time to do it. He certainly did. Not only did he have the element of surprise, he's making sure he's judicious in taking off. And he'll be stopped up quickly here at the 38. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get off. This guy literally runs the exact same two plays the whole game. Finally, a first red zone opportunity for these guys. First and ten at the 19. So his halfback is gonna stay back there and block. Into the red zone, Wentz toward the sideline, and look at that catch, dragging the toes, and that's gonna be a first down. Well done. Another nice game. I'm just waiting for that other turnover. Remember, our, our first turnover that we got against him was because he runs his two plays. Win or lose, guys, I highly recommend if, when you guys play, don't run the exact same freaking plays over and over. Why would you want to help out your opponent? That's basically what you do. Now wins. 
as we get another turnover, ladies and gentlemen, like I told you, do not run the same freaking formations over and over. You get turnovers. Our opponent already has three turnovers. Two of them come from his same plane and same plane. He never learns. He never learns. You know that's something those defensive guys hold a lot of pride on, too. No doubt about it. They're excited about where they are in this game. You know what? I'm going to keep that defense on there. I actually like it. There's too much of a gap in the middle. So let's burn some clock. Now, in a play like this, guys, when you're stuck in your defense, best option for you is you don't want your opponent to get a first down. It's so probably call timeout and change your play. Because I get another first down, I'm going to burn another minute and 45 seconds out of the fourth quarter. And I got it. And did you see his whole team get pancaked? Look at my running back. That's When you see his whole team get pancaked, you keep him in that defense, ladies and gentlemen. His whole team just got pancaked. And my halfback almost ran it. So let's go ahead, run one more play, and then go to two-minute warning. Did you guys see his whole team get pancaked? Now, that happens a lot when you're playing a certain defense and your opponent plays a certain offense. Usually it's a halfback uh, drive or a halfback, you know, straight down the middle. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And a nice gain there as he'll be taken down just shy of And the we are, I think, half a second down. ahead of the play clocks. Should we go for it? Uh... I'm going to say running out the, the two-minute warning is more important than running a play. Because remember, guys, this guy's made so many mistakes running the same freaking, like, two or three plays nonstop. He's ran one formation for about 90% of the game so far. So we're, we'll take away the two-minute warning from him. I think that's a smart move. So what he was playing was cover three press, guys. That is a horrible play to play against... Uh, uh, a halfback drive running straight down the middle horrible when your opponent's running it straight down the middle and you're in a cover three press change your play now he's running a mid blitz as we go ahead and almost get a first down and he calls a timeout now here's his situation guys third and inches if we get a first down he's virtually going to lose a game why because he already burned a timeout and he already lost a two minute warning and he goes mid blitz again which is what I thought <sighs> I'm actually I'm actually thinking about risking it for the biscuit what do you guys think risk it for the biscuit because I believe I can hold him to a field goal I'd rather him score a field goal fast not only that I play the best defense on the red zone and here's a big one now try to hold this lead they're gonna go for it here on fourth down if I get this guys he loses he did a damn field goal uh, or a goal line defense right there. But anyways, if he's going to get a, a field goal, I'd rather him get it faster. Ladies and gentlemen, that's game. This is why you don't run the same formations over and over. Ladies and gentlemen, let that be a lesson to you guys. He keeps running these deep outs, and he keeps running this other play. And ladies and gentlemen, he, he does the pause. Here we go. The old grateful pause. Ladies and gentlemen, he quits. Ladies and gentlemen, let that be a lesson to you all. Do not run the same play over and over and over. We literally got four picks on our opponent because our opponent only played three plays. Don't do that, guys. That... That pisses me off. I'd rather you guys beat me because you play a variety of plays than me beat you because you only play one, two, or three plays, and that's it. 
This guy literally only played three plays the whole game, one formation for 90% of the game. I got four picks off of him. He quit. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this gameplay. Uh, we hardly got T.Y. Uh, Hilton in there. We'll try to get another gameplay with him, though. Until next time, I'm out.